Good morning guys and girls, um, I'm in the woods today, I found up a quick shelter. I'm here today to show you how to make a Dakota fire pit. Um, it's a fire pit that you can use in a shelter. Um, you have a fire in the shelter, you have an exhaust through the ground, comes out outside the shelter, so you can cook in the shelter if it rains, you can stay warm. It's a really efficient way to cook. I'll show you how to do it now. I'll also show you how we whacked up this uh, shelter quite quick. Um, right, let's do this. Right guys, I'm just going to quickly show you how I banged up this quick shelter using my surroundings. It was a young sapling. Well, it's very bendy, so what I did, as you can see, it's bent here, all the way around there, and I literally sharpened the edge, and I've buried that about three foot into the ground. I've just pile driven it into the ground. That ain't going to come out. It's quite safe. Um, just tied it up, um, ground pegged in the back, and it's literally a quick two second shelter to bang up. And there it is. Like I said, it's a bit crude, keeps you dry, keeps you out of the wind and I'll show you how you can make a fire pit in there now to keep you warm. Right guys, let's get this fire pit done. Right guys, what you firstly need to do is dig a hole in your shelter near the entrance and let's do that now, I'll show you how to Right guys, I've got my hole dug here now, in the shelter. Um, it's a bit crude I know, but literally it's as square as I can get it. Um, what I'll do then, parallel about two feet out this way, outside of the shelter, I'll dig another hole. And then I will do, build a little tunnel through to connect both holes. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna dig a second hole here in parallel with the first hole, slightly smaller hole, it's only an exhaust hole. And then I'll dig a little tunnel through to the first hole. Right, I'll get digging. Right guys, I've got my fire hole here now, dug, and my chimney hole here, and that's where the exhaust fumes will come out, and there we go. What I need to do now is build a tunnel between the two, so let's get on with that now. What I need to do now is build a tunnel through here, back to the outer one. Right, I've got my holes dug now. This is my fire pit hole. This is my exhaust fume hole. I've linked a hole uh, down through there and down through there, which you can't see, it's a bit dark, but I've dug a hole right down through there. And both these holes now join in the middle. So what I need to do now, guys, is build a fire in here. Let's see how well this works. Right, guys, let's get a fire going. I've made some feather sticks and put in here now. Uh, I'll get some kindling in there and set fire to that and let's see how it goes. Let's give this a go guys. Right, so let's get this fire going guys.
and that's going. Got our fire going down there, I'll add some more wood to it now. We'll see how well this uh, Dakota fire pit works. Let's get it built up. Right, so I've now got my main fire pit lit. And I don't know if you can hear that. You can hear the air getting sucked through from this vent here. Can you hear that guys? So yeah, that's been quite a success I think. So yeah, that is the Dakota fire pit there in action. It's working really well. I've probably got my fire built up a bit too big in there, but uh, that'll cook down now nicely and I can start cooking on there then. You can really hear the uh, air drawing through from the exhaust. That's um, perfect for me really. It's a good way of um, having a fire slightly under your shelter. Don't have to worry about loads of smoke. Perfect. So there you go guys, that is your Dakota fire pit. Um, it's virtually smokeless, um, which allows, like I said, you can have your fire and your shelter without having to worry too much about being smoked out. Um, got your chimney here drawing the air, giving it a nice efficient burn. Really good to cook on. The heat coming off there is immense. But like I said, it's under the shelter. It's not hot under the shelter. You know, it's not melting. It's, um, yeah, it's just good. I like it. Super efficient way of having a fire. So right, I'm gonna get some food on there, guys. And uh, I'll get back to you. There we go, that's how you cook on a Dakota fire pit in your shelter without getting smoked out. Right guys, uh, I've had my uh, bacon, just left to do the sausages, they've taken a bit longer. Uh, really impressed with the Dakota fire pit, uh, super hot, um, the wood being super efficient because it breathes, um, not smoky in the shelter at all, loads of heat, I would suggest majorly suggest this for wild camping, stealth camping, shelter camping, uh, if it's raining and you want to fire inside, inside under your tarp like, it's amazing. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to dig out, but once you've got it dug, it's perfect. Um, yeah guys, big thumbs up for me for the Dakota, and uh, I think I'll be using this a lot now in uh, future camps. Right guys, I'm going to get these sausages down me and have a walk around. Right guys, my fire's out now, I'm going to head home. I'm going to uh, have a brew. <laughs> 